Yo, what's going on guys? So real quick, I wanted to do this video. Um, and now that I just hit record, I can't remember the du this, this dude's name. Crap. What is it? Robles maybe? Anyways, so this is a uh, pretty viral video of his pause, leg lift, and then throw and it's a hundred. Okay. So this is kind of the basis of my whole conversation slash topic of drivers versus accelerators and uh, I posted something on my Instagram with this throw variation that I did which is a leg lift at the top pause long toss so this throw right here is about 300 feet so anyways I said that it's a really good indicator of if you are a driver and accelerator because if you can do a throw like this at the relatively the same distance that you can do like a running into kind of side shuffle long toss, then we know that you have an ability to express a ton of energy down and get that energy back as soon as front foot plant comes and it goes up through the kinetic chain. So the reason why I wanted to compare with this video is because watch him pause hold now watch how much ground energy he creates right and not only is he creating it really well but he's directing it so you'll notice the back knee position that's what i say with back knee usually dictates direction back knee direction straight towards his target so hip hinge ground connection or a heel connection, whatever. So watch him. This is impressive, dude. So let's see if we can do this. Nope. It never works for some reason. Nope. Doesn't work again. Nope. Doesn't work. I don't know why that degrees thing never works. So anyways, you get the idea of this angle that he creates here, which is... Uh, great hip hinge, which is a tough move. I encourage you to watch a lot of my stuff on that. Staying connected to the ground um, and counter rotating the trunk. So we have right off the bat, he does an exceptionally well job at doing that. Now the question is, is can he get that energy back? So by getting it back, I simply mean by the time that his front foot touches the ground, can he rotate can he drop and rotate his hips on time? So we, we see that he does an incredible job at internal rotation. So boom, right? So this is a really, usually what I look at is like the sole of the shoe. That kind of gives us a good idea of is his hips going on time. So now we see that he internally rotated on time and exception like ex super fast right so he, he gets that energy that he put into the ground back because of his on time hip rotation we also see that he is able to segment hips and shoulders so he creates a ton of rotational energy and he's got a stupid strong arm right so I'm someone that I do a really good job of driving. Now I leave velocity on the table because I've, I struggle with loading up my glute, my hip. Um, but I do a really good job of getting my hips going and not sacrificing trunk early rotation. So that's why I'm able to do a throw like this at a 300 plus feet, no problem. Cause I, I mean, I just create a ton of rotational energy. My hips go on time and my hand, we haven't even dove into this aspect, but my hand delays enough. So it now comes up at the time I hit front foot strike, meaning my trunk doesn't rotate at all. And I set deep into my scap. And then I'm able to go, right? So 
Anyways, I'm going to do more stuff on the drivers versus accelerators type thing because then I'm sure the follow-up question to this video will be, well, what if you add acceleration, right? Wouldn't that only benefit you? Yes, maybe, but any time that we start thinking and accelerating our body, then we limit our ability to do that, right? So you'll see that his trunk is like, counter rotated over his back hip me not so much but my head is stacked over the backside so it's all about identifying what you need as a thrower do you need body acceleration or do you need ground force production all right so like i said i'm going to do more stuff on that because i think i can narrow it down a little bit better on kind of identifying um what you need all right well as always, Robbie Rowe here. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube yet, you're dead to me. So do that and follow me on every single platform that's actually running. I think my MySpace is still up. All right, see you.